So this video is long overdue. Hopefully this one turns out. I've made this, no joke, four times. This is a keeper. So Fucking starter's not big enough for this damn motor, man. Fucking 502. All right. So we're booking it out of this joint, man. End of the day, it's hot. I'm hungry. I could probably use a beer. So, you're out of welding school and you're thinking about getting a job. Wanna make some money. Three types of welding jobs out there uh, in this scenario. I may be completely overlooking something. Um, manufacturing. Ladders, office furniture, um, what else? Shit like that. You did not go to welding school for a manufacturing job. Welding the same thing day in, day out. Not for you. Next one, fabrication. Fabrication is fucking awesome. Typical fab job will pay between 15 bucks and 25 bucks. Uh, the more you make, the more likely you're gonna get laid off at some point in the future. Uh, whereas, you know, say, Star Enterprises makes compressors. They get an order for a giant compressor, they hire people, they build a compressor. When the compressor's built, your job is done. Um, you work in a nice shop, you got a roof over your head, uh, Steady hours, with or without overtime, depends on uh, the job. Um, or your uh, rinky dink mom and pop fab shop, where they keep you around forever. I mean, even if they're paying you to push a broom, you know, if you're making $15 an hour, you're probably not going to get laid off. They like to keep people around that are experienced, and you know, there is some potential for growth in places like that, but generally not. You know, you're sticking around for the uh, steady paycheck. Um, construction, two types, local, travel. Um, I travel for work, people ask, you know, what are the travel requirements? 100%. Uh, if you don't want to travel for work, when you get a new job, move there. <laughs> That's how you, uh, oh yeah, I, I moved here, so I'm at home now. 100% uh, travel. Um, got a question the other day, well, how, how often, how much are you on the road? Um, I have been on this project for a year. In two weeks, it'll be a full year. So, um, I've had four weeks off in that one year. Uh, one at Thanksgiving, two at Christmas, one random week off in there somewhere for some personal time. Um, it's rough life, you know. Uh, Sometimes you get a long weekend here and there, you know, we got a few days off for the 4th of July. Um, but no, you're out here, you're out here working, they're on a schedule. You're building something that's gotta be done. So with construction, every day you show up, you're getting one day closer to a layoff. And that's a fact of life. Uh, any project. You know, companies talk about, oh, well we got a job after this. Well, I guarantee you that's not a sure thing. Um, now local construction, local construction is what you find in the newspaper, you know, $20 an hour, welders show up to this job site to test, uh, same thing, you know, every day you show up, you're one day closer to a layoff, um, but you don't have to travel. The difference between travel and non-travel is something called per diem, it's Latin for per day. Uh, companies call it subsidence now, but basically they cover your living expenses, food and hotel. Um, they give you a non-taxed uh, stipend, a daily. Some people pay it seven days a week, whether you work seven days or not. Some people pay you days work. All varies by company, by contract. Um, yeah, so I guess that's a pretty quick rundown. I'm sure I'm leaving all kinds of shit out. Um, fab shops, I guess I could mention. You, in a fab shop, in a good fab shop, you'll build anything from 
skids that go out to the oil fill, the offshore rigs, anything, anything under the sun, you name it. Somebody builds it, trailers, uh, industrial equipment. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I guess I'm sure I left stuff out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, that's the best part of this whole YouTube channel is the interaction I have with you guys, the shit talkers and all. So, uh, hope this video helps. Uh, coming up, oh yeah, hey, we hit 100 subscribers. I got a giveaway coming up. Um, a couple pairs of gloves, some lenses. Uh, I might even spring for uh, some very, very special lenses if I can reach out and talk to the guy and get him in time. Um, I want to thank all of you guys for watching these videos and putting up with all my bullshit. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't do it if it weren't for you guys. I'm not here for myself. So, anyway, we'll catch you next time. See you soon.